here we will look into computational intelligence paradigms under the umbrella of computational intelligence the paradigms are artificial neural network evolutionary computation swarm intelligence artificial immune system and fuzzy system artificial neural network look at geeta she can recognize patterns of geometric figures she has an ability to recognize these patterns but can she only recognize the patterns she can also sing a song while recognizing the patterns why is this possible for geeta it is just because she has a brain which is complex non linear and works parallel all these activities happen much faster than any computer in the brain can we model the human brain that has 10 to 500 billion neurons in the human cortex with 60 trillion synapses modeling a human brain means creating artificial neurons similar to a biological neuron single objective problems can be solved using a moderate size neural network an artificial neuron receives signals from the environment or another artificial neuron the signals are gathered and when fired transmit a signal to all connected artificial neurons evolutionary computation consider an example of some bird species hatching where one bird manages to get more food get stronger and the other siblings are deprived of food and are almost kicked out from the nest to die evolutionary computation uses these methods of survival of the fittest and natural selection as a fundamental component of computation selection is one of the main operation in evolutionary computation which is directly related to the survival of the fittest selection operation are inclined towards the most fit solution swarm intelligence we have seen the choreography of flocks of birds moving all these birds are flying in a graceful way which leads to the study of social behavior of organisms these groups of birds flying in patterns can be referred to as swarms a swarm can be defined as a group of generally mobile agents that communicate with each other directly or indirectly by acting on their local environment objective in swarm intelligence is to model simple behavior of individuals and local interactions with the environment and neighboring individuals in order to obtain a complex behavior that can be used to solve complex problems artificial immune system a cell in our body can recognize a foreign cell and inform the other cells that a foreign cell has entered our system similarly in the same way when a virus affects the computer system the inbuilt immune system 
can inform all the other softwares, applications that a virus has made an entry and an action has to be taken for this. This is an application of artificial immune system that has great importance in computer security. Fuzzy system Geeta wants to go to school. She's looking out of her window. If it is very cloudy or probably going to rain, she has to decide if she can wear her sports shoes today. Since Geeta is a human being, the human brain can understand the terms very cloudy and most probably. Fuzzy sets and fuzzy logic together enables computing systems to understand such vague terms and to reason with these terms. Individual components of paradigms of computational intelligence have their strengths and weaknesses. The current trend is to develop hybrid systems of various components of computational intelligence.